Okay, we continue with wind deformer. For wind deformer, don't hold shift and click on object. Just insert it. The wind will be blow from uh, uh, to from parallel to x axis in this direction. Uh, simply click on a plane first you have to increase its uh, uh, segments for better deformer like other deformer click and drag uh, below of the plane the child object and just play uh, increase your frame to, to numbers here to uh, more room for playing the wind and as you can see, this is a wind. By default in this object, the flag will be activated here. The flag means, uh, f as you can see, you can change the axis of the wind going to the that uh, bar here to uh, simulate the flag for wind. <clears throat> as you can see, the uh, wind deformer uh, begin from the this point to the end of the flag. If you deactivate the flag, whole object will be moved and it's not does not important where is the center of that. Whole object will be moved. Sometimes it is good, but you going to your uh, access of your <clears throat> wind there and activate the flag and it's the flag. You can a little bit more to change those okay from here you can change amplitude amplitude is exactly this you can read increase or decrease that it's an amplitude and the size is the size of the wave you can you if you want more size or little size like this this is size of the waves okay you can change the size <coughs> And this has a frequency. The frequency actually uh, control the speed of the wind. This is a deformer. We have a wind force in mm, simulation, but it's uh, the forces we have the wind here. But it's the wind deformer. It deformed the object. It um, uh, looks like the objects are uh, in the wind direction. <clears throat> the frequency uh, actually you can increase the decrease. It is a actually change the speed of the wind okay you can change the speed of the wind you can change the bigger size for uh size to change your flag like a uh, nature flag more natural flag okay so you can change the speed of the wind and turbulence if you set it to the zero we just uh, seamless wave but if you increase the turbulence as you can see the wave hits in a direction and we can change a more natural winds and here you can change the frequency of the uh, x and y for example if you set it zero in x and in the y as we can see wind going there but if you vice versa we have like this so change of those frequency to have an nice and good flag for that as you can see it's changing here you can change the axis of the common and bring it exactly at the center of this bar Okay, you can change and play with those uh, settings to make a uh, natural flag or natural movement of wind. An interesting part is <clears throat> we can uh, define a field for that. For that, I make a very a normal wind like this. Okay, to see that. You can go to the field and specify an area for that. For example, and 
a spherical field. Change it as you can see. You can define that wind effect just uh, play in that area. Here in the this field. You can see the power of the fields here. You can change it. As you can see, the wind effect just affect in this area with a fall off. In in the inner in the inner <coughs> uh, sphere, we have one hundred percent of that uh, comment will be play and active. But if we are going to the red sphere with a fall off, we are going to the zero percent of the strength of wind. And after that, we are nothing. This is field. Just say you have to uh, active the wind just in this area, this field. You can change the area of that. For example, you can go into box. Okay. It's interesting. You can have an interesting effect with that field. The wind effect just blows and just execute on this field, on this cube field. And from 100% to the zero with a fall off, it's go to the out of the field. Just we have a lot of fields here. You can change the shape of the fields, like a coin, cylinder, and other shapes. I will be explain more when we reach to the colonel. Don't worry, but you can use it here. It's very important. Okay, that's the wind and its fields. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.